All right, lesson five is ray diagrams with mirrors. Uh, we're going to look at concave and convex mirrors and how to draw the diagrams of where the image will form for these mirrors. Okay, we'll start with the concave. Okay, so do two concave examples. This will be number one. We'll just do, we'll just do uh, four examples. Uh, concave mirror. Uh, you'll be given a focal length. Remember that focal point of a mirror? So that's a lowercase f. We'll say it's six centimeters. Uh, you'll be given an object distance. Call that d sub zero, or I'm sorry, d sub o. Say it's at 10. That's how far the thing is from the mirror. You're going to need a ruler or something to measure with. If you don't have a ruler, here's an option. Just make a ruler, okay, on a piece of paper. Okay, you're going to need a straight edge. So pause it here and go get that stuff if you need it. All right. Uh, so if you don't have a ruler, I'm just showing you an option. Just use a edge of something. Make yourself a line. Going all the way across. Make yourself a vertical line in the middle, roughly. That represents your mirror. Okay, call this axis. This is representing our mirror. Just to, I'm just using that line to represent the mirror, but I'm going to show you that it is concave in reality. So it's going to, we're going to say if you wanted to put this on, that curve on there, you could. But really, to make it simplistic, we're just going to worry about the straight line. But if you want to lightly draw that curve on there, just to show. All right, f is at six, so I'm going to measure six whatever's these are supposed to be centimeters but whatever units you got is fine I'll put a dot there six away from the mirror that's F <clears throat> the object is at 10 in front of the mirror okay it'll always be on the left side here for the object so I'm going 10 uh, the height of the object is irrelevant I mean it doesn't it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna make it two centimeters tall okay so for the object, we just draw an arrow. This is our object, so we'll say DO. All right. Um, three, you're gonna have to draw two principal rays. Okay. Here's the rules for the rays. Uh, for, and it's basically the same rules all the time. Ray number one. We're going to say it goes parallel to the axis. Then through, I'm going to abbreviate through, F. Okay. Ray number two kind of does the opposite, I guess. It goes through F, then parallel to the axis. All right, so if we draw those two rays, it's going to show where the light goes, bounces off this mirror, and then where the image forms. Okay, uh, the thing we're looking for, I should have set up here, is the image distance. DI is what we're looking for. We're also looking for the magnification, which would be a capital M. Okay, those are our two goals. Find where the image forms and find the magnification. All right, I'm gonna use two different colors here just to make it really clear for you. Draw ray number one. Okay, goes parallel to the axis. So we're, you know, you're eyeballing it, but you're trying to eyeball it really uh, pretty accurately. So eyeball parallel, it goes parallel, hits the mirror, and then through F. So after it hits the mirror, we draw a line down from there through F and put an arrow on the end because that's what the light's doing, it's hitting Remember, that's what it does. It hits the mirror and it goes through the focal point from the last uh, lesson there. That's what light does off a concave mirror. Okay, the other one goes through F and then it bounces parallel. We're always going from the tip of this arrow. I should have, I should have mentioned that. We're trying to figure out where the tip of this arrow goes. In other words, I'm trying to figure out where the tip of this arrow uh, image is. All right, so we're going to go through F. Always, again, going from that tip. 
hit the mirror. After you hit the mirror, you bounce off and you go parallel to the axis, meaning like straight back. Okay, that's the other ray. I should have used a different color, sorry. Parallel through F, through F parallel, you're always starting at the tip of your object. Okay, where those two meet, actually I gotta extend them out. Where they meet is where, where your image is. Hopefully they meet on my paper here. Yeah, it's very close. Okay, uh, but it's kind of fudge it just a little. They meet there, that's the tip of the arrow. So if you draw the tip of the arrow there upside down, the bottom of the arrow is always on this axis. Okay, so the bottom of the arrow is on the axis. The tip of the arrow will be where those two meet. That is your DI. Alrighty, so this is the object, that's the image. So basically, um, it's going to make a bigger, um, the image looks a little bigger. So what's DI? This is an estimate, guys, but you can use the ruler we made. How much farther back is it? You know, we're measure, always measuring from the mirror. So, you know, here was 10, here's 12, it's about 12. Okay, formed at about 12. The magnification is how many times bigger it got. So this original one was two. This one, if I measure it, is about three. So the magnification, about three over two. Uh, or 1.5, you got 1.5 times bigger. If you look at it, this, is about one and a half times bigger than that, is what we're saying for magnification. So it's an estimate. I'd like to see these be drawn as accurately as you can, but ultimately you're making somewhat of an estimate for your final answer. Okay, let's do number two. Concave again. We're going to say F, in this case, is skin 6. We're just going to stick with 6. Uh, we're going to put the object closer. We're going to say, what if the object is at, like, um, 3? Okay, and we'll draw this out again. Okay, same deal. Draw your axis, draw a, mirror, draw a line to represent your mirror. In this case, you know, still concave, so I'll kind of lightly draw on. Oops, let's see what I'm drawing. Uh, that, we'll measure out to put the focal point at six. And now the object is at three, so it's right there. And again, I'll just make it too tall. It really doesn't matter how tall it is, honestly. It will come out the same answers in the end. So that's my DO. This is my F. Uh, we're going to draw the same rays. Ray number one goes parallel to the axis. And then through, and then, uh, through F. It's a little weird here. So always start at the tip of your arrow, remember. Go parallel. Hit your mirror. After you hit your mirror, you go back here through F. Go ahead and put an arrow on that. That's what's doing. Bouncing off. And it's going through F. The other one... Through F then parallel, okay. Well, we gotta go through the tip and we gotta go through F. It's actually here, guys. You go line up F and the tip. I'm gonna line up F and the tip and extend the, extend the ray going up like that. Okay, so it's actually doing this. Hitting, okay. You can make this part dotted back here if you want or whatever. But the light's coming off this tip from F, but it's coming off that tip from F like that. Hitting here and then going off parallel. Bouncing back. These are bouncing back. Okay, they're not going through the mirror. They're bouncing back like this. Okay. Notice they're diverging. Okay, these two are diverging apart. If rays are diverging, up here they converge. They came together. The two rays, the two arrows I drew. Here now the two arrows are going apart. So that means you got to trace them behind the mirror. Okay, so I'm going to do a dotted line going back. This will happen when it's inside the focal point, just so you know, on a concave. Just so you know on your assignment, it'll come out similar. Okay, I'm going to trace those arrows. Notice once I traced, I took where this arrow was, and that's the one I traced backwards. Took where this arrow was and traced it backwards. The arrows are on the ends, okay? Gets a little confusing with all these lines, honestly. Okay, where those meet, right there, that's going to be the new tip of the arrow. 
and we'll draw it down to the axis see where the what the image looks like this is our di our image distance okay so let's just estimate again di i can use my handy dandy about six on mine okay behind the mirror six centimeters the magnification again this was two this is about i don't know three and a half it's an estimate 3.5 over 2, uh, man, what's that? It's 1.75, right? Okay, so, sorry, you can't see that. Magnification is about, you know, it's almost two times bigger. All right, we're going to keep going here, guys. we got to do con uh, vex yet. Yeah, these are concaves, right? So number three is, here's a convex. We can actually get away with one more example here. Convex mirror. Uh, focal length is 6. DO is 10. Pretty much like that first example, except now we're going to say it's convex. So it's going to come out different. All right. Draw our axis. Draw our line for our mirror. Okay. This time, if I want to kind of simulate what the mirror looks like, it's actually looking like this way right again that's just for reference just so you can see what it's doing so i know that the lights instead of bouncing in like here the light bounce on this one the light was bouncing in inwards basically um in this case the light's going to bounce out after it's this mirror it's going to bounce outwards okay okay so let's put our uh, focal point at six okay i'll tell you what it's going to be behind the mirror Okay, if you have a convex, the F is here. It's kind of like the same side of the center. If you think about where the center of the circle is, center of the circle is over here, that focal point's over there. All right. Um, and then our object, we're always going to put our object on the left side. We're going to put that at 10. Okay, I'll make it two centimeters tall again. Okay, there's our DO for F. We're gonna follow the same rules. Uh, it's actually not, it's similar, it's similar rules. Let's write them down. Uh, number one, so there's gonna be two rays again. Uh, number one is gonna go parallel to the axis. Then away from F. Okay, away, because it's uh, convex, goes away. And then ray number two is going to go towards F, then uh, bounce back parallel. So it's kind of similar, you know, we're always saying something about the parallel, then something about F, and then something about F, and then something about parallel. Okay. So here we go, ray number one, parallel axis and away from F. Always go from the tip of your arrow, parallel. You're going to have to watch this video, guys, several times to get this, or watch it while you're doing your homework, honestly, to make sure you do it right, so you can do these carefully. Away from F, meaning it's going to bounce back away like this. Okay, show it bouncing away like that. How did I know where to draw that? Well, I lined up with F. Let's draw a dotted line there. Okay, like that. Parallel, away from F. Light bounces away from the focal point on a convex mirror, right? Uh, the next one goes towards F, again from the tip. Go towards F, so I'll line up F there with that tip. It's gonna hit the mirror. Once that one hits, it's going to actually bounce back parallel. Okay. There's going to be a lot of lines here. Parallel. Okay. Um, 
again. What are the arrows doing? What are these two doing? Are they coming together or going apart? Well, they're going apart. So if they're going apart, we obviously can't find where they meet, so we need to trace them back. Trace the arrows back. This one's already traced back. This one I'm going to trace back here with a dotted line. Okay, right there is where they meet. That's our DI image distance. Okay, so estimate it. DI. Looks like it's about four or so. Let's measure it. Four centimeters. Uh, magnification, this time it shrunk, okay? So it went from two down to about, you know, 0.75. I mean, this that's 0.75 over two, which is 0.375, I believe. Okay, so it's about, you know, 30% the size, 40% the size of the original, okay? Magnification as a decimal means it says shrunk, right? I divided the ending, divided by the starting, basically. All right, um, that's pretty much it. If you did move this closer, you'd basically wind up with these same two rays if I move DO closer. So I don't need, I don't think we need to do, a, do a, another example there. Just think about what this means. This, uh, this image is smaller, it's behind. This is the mirror at the shop at the you know grocery store where you look up and everything you know to see around the corner at the grocery store or whatever and everything looks little you know everything's kind of shrunk down that's this right so the optics are bigger but the things you see are behind the mirror but there's sh everything's shrunken okay just to give you another reference uh, this this is uh, looking in a spoon. You know, you ever taken a look in a spoon and then you see yourself upside down in it, okay? You're upside down and you're actually a little bigger possibly and upside down. If you put the spoon really close to your face, then you get this scenario, you're right side up and you're enlarged. So you can have two different scenarios depending on, this would be like if, if your eye, this your, you're putting your face really close to the spoon, you see a really big image. Here you're putting your face uh, quite a ways away from the spoon. Uh, you see yourself upside down. Um, so that's just some kind of showing you what's going on here. Uh, the next lesson will be more calculating rather than drawing these. So do your best drawing them, just do them carefully.